Alright guys, today I'm going to be showing you another really cool card trick involving the four aces. So essentially we start off the trick, we'd have one ace put down here, another here, another right there, and then another here. So we have the four aces lined up on the table to make sure we get these into frame. What we're going to do is take three random cards, it doesn't matter what they are, I'll even shuffle them up. Just so you guys know I'm not lying. So we take one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So we're going to have the four aces each with their own three cards lined up. So we're going to put these all on top of each other just like this, so mix it up. But essentially we're left with one, two, three, ace in the fourth position, one, two, three, ace in the fourth position, one, two, three, ace in the fourth, one, two, three, ace in the fourth position. So that way, or that that means uh, when we line them up, we're going to take one, two, three, ace still in the fourth position. I'm not going to lie to you guys right here, you guys can see the ace is still in the fourth position. We take those cards. So we take one, two, three, ace in the fourth position, one, two, three, ace in the fourth, one, two, three, ace in the fourth. I'm going to go ahead and separate these piles. So we have the ace pile right here. We're going to leave that this way. You guys can see that. And then we're going to use a random pile over here on the left with the random cards. And these two other piles we actually don't need anymore. These have nothing going on. These are going to go on top of the deck. We don't need this anymore for the trick. So at this point, we have these cards. We have these piles. We have the ace pile here, the random card pile here. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and just switch the positions of these cards. And this is kind of like one of those follow uh, the leader type card tricks where the aces from this pile are now going to go ahead and transfer themselves over to this pile with a snap. As you guys can see lined up here, we actually have the four aces all together. The three ones follow them, and we have the random pile with switched over there. So this is the trick, guys. If you want to do it, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. All right, so uh, the other day I actually posted a video involving the four aces. So uh, the reason I wanted to post this one was because this is something you can uh, super easy, like let's say you want to do like a routine or something. This is something super, super simple that you can actually go straight into after doing the card trick that I previously taught. You guys can check that out on the link. So the trick was use the four aces and if you want to go into another trick this is a perfect one uh, essentially you have the four aces now and there's not really any like you know setup you just want to take them out of the deck so you have the four aces okay these are let's make sure we show them to the camera these are gonna go right here right here right here and right there and you can let the spectators clearly see that these are the four aces and they're clearly going down here just like this and at this point um, if you want you know you can tell them that you're gonna put three random cards uh, on top of each ace and if you want to you can have them shuffle it up just so they know that it truly is getting mixed up but essentially it doesn't matter uh, what cards are getting put on top you just put three cards on each pile just like that at this point you're gonna scoop them all up okay you can show them that there's an ace going here and you go left to right it doesn't matter you're just gonna show show all the cards like this to the spectators so they can see all the aces going in and you say okay so effectively what we're gonna have is the order one two three and then we're going to be left with an ace, one, two, three. We're left with an ace, one, two, three. We're left with an ace in the fourth, one, two, three, and the last ace. So the, the reason why you kind of put that rhythm um, into the spectator's mind is because when you deal out the cards, here's what you're going to do. So at that point, you show them, okay, so all the cards are one, two, three, ace in the fourth position. So that means if we deal them out, it's going to be one, two, three, ace in the fourth. Now in the performance, I actually showed you guys the card, but it would make a lot more sense, and you'll see why to do this. But essentially... If you deal all the cards face down, and then you deal the ace face down as well, and then what you're going to do is, essentially you have a random card here, but what you're going to do is you're going to take the top card from this pile, so this is going to be the fifth card. You say, look, I approved you, we have the ace in the fourth. So uh, you don't even have to say prove, you want to make it um, as nonchalant as possible. So you go ahead, you deal out the four cards, you deal them out, you say I have an ace, and you use the top card to go ahead and flick this one over. You say, look, we so we have an ace in the fourth, and then you're going to put this top card, instead of putting it back, you're going to put it to the bottom of the deck. So that's like the easiest uh, the easiest way to get a reason to move that card to the bottom without having to really say anything about it. You just go ahead and flip over that card, show them it's the ace. And at this point, you do the exact same thing. So you say, alright, so we have one, two, three, ace in the fourth position. So that's why you get them familiar. And now at this point, this isn't going to be an ace anymore because you put that random card on the bottom. So then again, you do one, two, three, ace in the fourth, one, two, three, ace in the fourth position. Now from here, what you can do is show them, all right, so here is the ace pile. You pull out the bottom card because this is going to be the only ace. You say, all right, and we'll use this as the random pile. You pull out the bottom card 
you can show them, and we don't need these piles anymore. You can show the spectators that these cards are inconsequential. You put these away, you can put the deck away, whatever you want to do. And at this point, you're going to show them that you can actually switch these two cards around and that the aces are going to follow their leader. So this is, like I said, one of those types of follow leader type card tricks where you switch these two cards. You say, all right, so if I take the leader of the aces here, we put this, we switch them around. The other aces are actually going to go ahead and follow their leader. You can snap your fingers, whatever you want, and you can show them that you have the four aces all together. Three aces follow them, and then you have the random cards switching over there. So this is a little trick, guys. And like I said, the reason I wanted to post this uh, was because the other day I posted a four ace card trick. And this is a super, super simple trick that you can go directly into right after you do the other one in case you want to do like a routine or something, like I said. So I hope this video uh, works out for you guys. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that. And as always, thanks for watching. She's a literal man.